Hundreds of millions may be in the hands of hackers tonight. A Northwest health insurance company has been hit. Joe Libanaga in the newsroom. He's got this. Joe. And good evening to you. And here's most concerning, according to a security analyst I spoke with tonight. He tells me in this latest breach, hackers appear to have stolen not, not only bank account information, but medical records as well. First, it was retailers like Target and Home Depot disclosing data breaches. Then last month, it was health insurer Anthem. A sophisticated attack to gain unauthorized access. Now it is Seattle-based Primera Blue Cross admitting it is the latest healthcare company to fall victim to a massive cyber attack. I've learned as many as 11 million people could have had their personal medical records compromised. Uh, personal information about your health, um, you know, this could be out there, and that's really scary for a lot of people. I spoke with cybersecurity expert Ken Weston by Skype tonight. He tells me hackers breached the company's systems last May, but it did not discover the breach until January. I wanted to know why these big breaches keep happening. I and mean, this is actually a pretty scary thing, actually. We see a lot of this. Um, you know, a lot of companies, they don't have the right tools in place to detect these types of sophisticated breaches. Weston tells me hackers could now have access to members' names, social security numbers, bank accounts, as well as medical data. And so there's actually a lot of value in this data, and that's really what drives the attackers. Um, it's not just something they just want to go steal a bunch of data. Um, there's actually a market for this information. And folks I spoke with tonight tell me this is the most vulnerable they felt when it comes to cyber attacks. It just makes me think that uh, online security needs to be improved for, for the purpose of just protecting everyone's information. Nobody caught those guys. They're still out there, so they're just going to do it again. I found out Oregon's Attorney General plans to testify next week on ways to update the state's data breach protections. And tonight I've learned the FBI is now investigating this latest cyber attack. In the meantime, Primera is now offering two years free credit monitoring to its members affected by this breach. In the newsroom, Joel Iwanaga, Coin6 News. Back to you, Ann. Jeff. Joe.